All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do a bit of analysis. It's obvious that the Bennett time would be slightly faster, and that is true because Bennett and Kujo Sora effectively at a stack sort of their attack buffs. You can see here right at the top of the screen, we almost get to 500k, which is really awesome. Uh, so it is no wonder that like there's a bit of a difference in the clearing times because obviously Blizzard Stray is set and with high crit damage on Ayaka is unfortunately like overpowered by the enormous like combined uh, sort of attack stacking here uh, you might ask me well can you get these sorts of times without Kokomi or Bennett just using Kujo Sara alone the answer is no because obviously the first three guys um, will take a bit longer than just sort of take out with Ayaka and then that leads to like increased times etc the other things about the other thing about these runs is uh, you've got to remember the world record time um, as far as I'm aware, it's like 10.68 something. We are literally 800 milliseconds off of that. And with the Kokomi run, obviously we're a couple of, um, we're about four seconds off. Uh, sorry, uh, we're like three seconds off of that, like three point something. Um, and here's the thing. If you are so incredibly unimpressed by this time, then you seriously need to get a life. Uh, because the big difference between these two times and telling me Kokomi is trash because Bennett can get you just slightly faster results, it's just, it's just, it's such a moot point. The very, the fact of the matter is that if there was a Kokomi banner running right now, someone with my exact same account can literally go pull a level one Kokomi, level one talent, level one book, level one everything, and they can get the same time. Whereas with Bennett, you need the resource investments, you need a Kila Favonia um, to get this sort of time. But notwithstanding the investment times, there are a couple of other things that sort of make, that I sort of consider in this, in this well, I'm sorry to say philosophical debate, but this debate between Kokomi's utility versus Bennett's utility. And that is, Nobody that watches this video, 99% of the people that are watching this will, is not going to care for any of these two times. I think most people by themselves would be incredibly impressed that you've got a tank healer that can essentially give you enough off-field utility to get good clearing times when the rest of your team is pretty jacked up. Um, and that is, to me, the real big point here. Um, using different utilities from different characters to get fast clearing times in and of itself is quite a good achievement. Um, yes, there is going to be a, like hardcore, diehard, world record breaking people that are going to say, yeah, I need the benefit for this clear. But it's such a hollow brag. I mean, what are you going to get? You're not going to get any primo gems. You're not going to get money. And um, being number one in the world is not going to be that big. And here's the other big problem I've got. Is there from a practical perspective in getting my extra 50 primo gems for this floor, such a big difference in giving team two a 948 or 946 on the clock in order to clear the spiral abyss. It's like, yeah, it's a bit of a moot point. It's really, I don't know. For people that hate Kokomi, I mean, yeah, sure. You know, there's your reason to hate Kokomi. Two second difference. Um, I mean, can't argue against it. Uh, it's my own time. So I try to give both teams a fair representation. But for, the Kokum, for Team Kokomi, that is the team that I'm on, uh, you guys know the very fact that we can stand with Malgu Kenki and not get one-shotted, the fact that we've got a tank, that we can very comfortably uh, get to this point, that we can freeze enemies, that enemies aren't knocked by Overload Bennett and out of my one-shot range of Raiden Shogun um, is so much better because I can freeze them all in place and just one-shot them without worrying that the enemies are going to fly away, that they're going to teleport away, that they're going to jump back. And just the absolute comfort of having a tank healer off-field Hydra applicator that can be of so much value 
it's just to me that outweighs using this freaking Bennett because if that's all you want a super fast steering time well you've got it um, but for the rest of it it's way better and I just have like some very bad news to tell people that are in the speed running business the majority of the miHoYo community don't care in fact there is an entire community of people if you look at um, sort of MMD videos or like dance videos those are the videos that are extremely popular on Genshin Impact it's almost as if the characters their character personality the amount of photos you can take with them all the other softer skills how they how you can use them in different environments all these sorts of things give you a much more enhanced gameplay and rich experience than just a very mood two second difference that is in any case paywalled and inaccessible to the majority of the community so you might say well you're still convinced on Bennett I, that's your right for me I love my Kokomi I'm gonna stick to my Kokomi and if it means two seconds less on the clock you know what it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because honestly it's my account my characters my time invested and you've got no right to dictate to me in the comment section what I should be pulling out or what I should be playing honestly screw you Team Kokomi, let's go.